So you notice there's a pattern to every story involving Trump, or for that matter, anyone the media despises. First, the story breaks, and the facts are never true. Trump says you should drink bleach. Trump says there are fine people who are Nazis. My God, the Border Patrol are whipping migrants. And then the freaks come out and say, ooh, the walls are closing in. This looks like it's worse than Watergate. And you know, this could be the thing that really takes him down. And, you know, it's this, this could be the thing that really takes him down. <laughs> I just look at him and I think turd. But, but I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Good for you. You yeah, didn't say it. I didn't say did it this time. He does not look like a turd. He does not look shell. like a turd. Not even a little bit. Exactly. Not even close. <laughs> but then the truth comes out and it isn't what the media wants. So they turn their angry gaze to you. You become the threat. It's like when a crime is being committed on the street, the cop tackles the bad guy. He has to get physical to subdue him. But that's when the people with the phones turn up. Now the crime has st that started it all isn't that important anymore. It's not the crime anyway, it's the backlash. They did this with Russian collusion. If you were skeptical, then you were a traitor. Remember that? Not the people who lied to frame the president. They did this with Hunter's laptop. If you talked about it, you were guilty of misinformation. Not the people who pretended it was fake to rig an election. That's the trend. When the real story defies media manipulation, they make you the story instead which is what happens now. But hey, it is still early. I have no idea what the hell's going on. And what if it turns out to be nothing? What if it's not really about nukes, but something bland, like pages from Dana's diary? <laughs> then I fed the dog. I put on my little pony pajamas. I wrote a fan letter to Garth Brooks, and then I went to bed. Aww. Not a bad life. So how bad would Garland look now? I'd say he's making a mountain out of a molehill, but it's more like making a tyrus out of a gut felt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, if they don't undercover a, a homemade movie of Donald banging every member of Menudo at a nuclear testing site, this will be the biggest bust since CNN Plus. <laughs> And it's hard to top CNN+.